Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel. It's a channel to talk about narcissists. I want to go ahead and jump straight into the topic. But first, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Let's jump into it. If you've been narcissistically abused, it's important to go into therapy. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why. The number one reason why you should go into therapy is that it takes a, a long time to understand yourself and understand why you were doing certain things and why things affected you. And even if you know a lot about narcissistic behavior and, and what had happened to you, but there's certain things that you still can't quite understand about yourself just because you're such a dynamic person. People are hard to understand. We're complex and there could be things that happen in your life over and over again that may take you years to figure out why it's happening like this. So it's just good to have input from other people who are trained to help you so you can figure things out a lot faster and it'll save you a lot of time. So the way to solve most problems or all problems really is through questions and answers. And you got to get out of your own mind. Sometimes you need to ask other people questions so you can get some answers from outside of yourself. We tend to take our own, the things that we know we go in circles in our head over and we talk to ourselves in our head about it and, and things like that. But sometimes you need an outside opinion. You need input from another person. And a lot of people who come from narcissistic families or have been in narcissistic relationships, when I say narcissistic family, I mean like your parents were narcissistic. Uh, but if you're in a, a relationship like that, a lot of times the narcissist kind of has kind of ruined a lot of the relationships around you and just kind of disconnected you from your support system and so you don't have those people around you to to just bounce ideas off of and a lot of people aren't even qualified to to give you any answers really just because people just normally don't work on themselves anyway like they, they do a little this here, a little that there, but they they aren't really trying to self-improve to a level where it's like they're taking it seriously. At least it doesn't appear that appear that way. Most people seem like they just are OK with who they are, you know, so those type of people, they don't even understand if you were to ask them questions, you know, they, they're like, you know, they oversimplify things and they, you know, they don't really take your questions seriously and they never thought about it, you know? So that's, that's where a therapist comes in. I'm a guy who breaks down, I guess, the mechanisms of t toxic people and how they ruin your lives and just break down their strategies and, and things like that. But I'm not a therapist. Like I try to have a little bit of therapy on the set on, on the, the channel, you know, with some of the videos I upload, but they're not satisfactory. It's kind of like it's, it's good, but it's just not this channel is just not dedicated to, to therapy the way that you need. So. I recommend that everybody goes into therapy if you have dealt with narcissistic abuse and just talk about it. And when you go in there, don't act like you know everything, you know, even though we've all read a lot, we've taken a lot of information in, but you're there to, to learn, you're there to learn about yourself and you're there to just have therapy. So don't have a chip on your shoulder and just, you know, go in. I recommend that, but obviously you can do whatever you want to do. And I just wanted to put that out there. Thanks.